So first up, growing DeFi scams. Somebody exits with $20 million. Not surprising, that sucks, what's going on? So a new liquidity mining pool, DeFi project, YFDEXF.finance, that's interesting, has exited the, mark after, or exited the market after defrauding investors of 20 million total funds locked in its protocol. YFDEX conducted a two-day major advertising campaign on different platforms, including Twitter and Telegram, with promised giveaways for retweets and hashtags. Following YFDEX's exit, its official website, Medium Story, Twitter, Telegram accounts that were used to lure investors have all been deleted. Surprise, surprise. Financial advisor and trader CryptoWhale said this, Another day, another DeFi scam. After promoting themselves on Twitter for two whole days, YF Dex has taken a total of 20 million of investors' funds in their recent exit scam. That's the big thing, exit scams, and it's everywhere. And it was actually talked about as far as sushi swap with the master chef taking all the sushi, selling it for like, I think it was like 1.3 million. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but uh, I think that's about how much it was, which doesn't seem too bad now that we take a look at $20 million. But this part of the, the article is pretty interesting because it says, you know what, sushi swap was an exit strategy, but it's not dead yet. And it states the token's price did plummet following the news, which is the master chef said, hey, I'm taking all my, my sushi, I'm getting out of here, suckers. With many accusing the founder of carrying out a scam. However, there's future for the DeFi project after chef Nomi transferred SushiSwap's control to FTX's founder, Sam Bankman Fried, or SBF, who's planning to migrate it to the Solana blockchain. And I've heard in the comment section, they go, well, we believe that Master Chef and SBF are the same person, but I don't see that. I don't think that's, that's possible, but who knows? Who knows? It's cryptocurrency, right? Anything's possible. So we'll see how that project works out now that's on the Solana blockchain. But um, I got to I gotta tell you, I got to tell you, I got to tell you that um, trust is a currency you just can't buy. And when you try to transfer over and, and do some more things and you say, oh, now it's now it's legit. It's just tough, you know, to really just to to bring everything back. It's 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 tough to build yourself back up. Can they do it? I mean, maybe. I mean, it, it's happened before. I mean, look at Facebook. They stole all our data and people still use that like crazy. So what are you going to do? Well, you will see. Lastly, to finish up, two China-based blockchain security firms, Slow Mist and Peck Shield, have also warned investors of Emerald Mind or EMD. Slow Mist wrote on Wednesday that the EOS project is on the run with approximately two and a half million in USDT and EO. So if you're into Emerald Mind, let me know about that in the comments section. I haven't heard anything about it. I try to stay away from DeFi until everything kind of simmers down because I'm just not a very risk-prone person. I like to kind of put my money on more of the sure things. It's kind of weird because like cryptocurrency digital assets are just volatile anyhow. So I try to find the most, I mean, the stable as possible as I can get or the ones that I feel like have a good team, have a good track record, uh, have a vision, have a use case, and then just go from there. I'm not saying all DeFi is bad. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to sit on the sidelines because I know a lot of people have lost money and uh, I'm not in the business of losing money. I'm just not. It's just not my game plan. So I will just sit back and just see what happens and then go from there. Anyhow, in April 2020 alone, five scam incidents involving both new and old DeFi projects, including Uniswap, LendF.me, Curve, Pegnet, and Hedgic. Were, rec were recorded as a result of compromised smart contracts. Now, not that these are bad products themselves, but they have compromised smart contracts. So all I'm going to say here is this. Just make sure that if you're doing the DeFi, if you're doing crazy trading, just be as careful as you possibly can. And, uh, you know, just try to make it a small percentage of your portfolio and try to invest into something a little bit more stable. That's all I got for you. All right, let's move on.